means. I mean, what am I supposed to do now? Go home? This is not personal, James. It's simply business. This is not personal? Like hell this is personal! I gave my life to this company. I, I, I sacrificed my, my, my happiness, my health, my youth, my family for, for this company and all I get is a kick in the butt. We didn't ask you to. You did everything you did because it was your job. And you must also admit that you have become slack. Slack? Yes, slack. Let me finish. After your accident, you became complacent. And you have become old. You must admit the company needs young stars with young blood who are eager and willing to break boundaries to do what we used to do when we were young. Hang on. Old? I am old? What about you? No, 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 tell me. What about you? What? <laughs> I mean, as far as memory serves me, we came into this company together. As a matter of fact, you're even older than I am. And now it's time for me to be shown the door and you are the one that gets to swing the axe. To hell it's personal! I'm really sorry it has come to this, James. It was taken out of my hand. There was nothing I could really do. I'm indeed sorry. Hell, there was nothing you could do. You could take this and shove it where the sun don't shine. When you're in your 20s and 30s, All you dream about is having a good job and in a fat salary, enjoying life, retiring to a good pension. Nobody tells you about the huge pay cuts, the untimely layoffs. The unfortunate accidents that rob you of your pension. <laughs> when you're young. See, but when you're old. That is when you remember that tiny little voice that has always told you over the years to, to save, invest, save, invest, build something for yourself, start a small business. I was already 40 when I had that accident. I had already given 10 years to the company. I broke my hip. 
my knee. I was on a wheelchair for months. I didn't even believe I was going to be able to walk by myself again. But still, I worked. Two, four, seven. 365 days a year. I even worked weekends. And now, say I'm old. What did they say you did? What I did? Nothing. The company needs young blood. Oh my God. They said that to you. He did. He said I'd, uh, <laughs> I'd gotten old and uh, too comfortable in my position. Slack. That was the word he used. No, now. But there must be something you can do. I mean, this has to be against the law. They can't just throw you out like that. You are not a kid. Huh? I lost my family for that company. I lost my time. I lost my health. I lost myself. I'm sorry, Uncle. I'm sorry. And I tell you I'm old and I need to go home. What am I supposed to do? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> The executive from the bank are here. Why didn't you call me on the intercom? It's not working. Just give me a minute. I'll be with you shortly. Yes, ma'am. Hello? 
Get me a bottle of water. Now. So at the wedding, the priest now said, is there anyone here who has any reason why these two should not be joined together in holy matrimony? Let him stand up now or forever hold his peace. And then this lady came, I mean, rose up from the back and came forward. Ha. Oh my God. So what they, happened? They actually thought she came for the guy, mm -hmm. but she actually came for the babe, the bride. <laughs> really? I'm telling you. Wait, like she stole a man? No, 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 no. She was her girlfriend. <laughs> and she said that they have been dating for years. As in, you can imagine. This is crazy. Anna. Yes. I'm Anna. telling you. So this is you? of madness. What's going Mike, on? Mike, what are you doing here? You have the guts to ask me what I'm doing here? Me, your husband? Huh? Husband? Wait, are you wait. married? Excuse me, what's going on? Anna came over to visit and um, I was just seeing her off. You know, <clears throat> when this young man just jumped out of nowhere and started claiming he was her husband. Oh my God. I'm finding what was happening. <laughs> like, she's married? That's not even the best of it. The main gist is that she's not only married, but she has children at home. What is wrong with her? What is wrong with the world, Paul? Oh, the, the way I'm feeling right now, I have never felt like this in my entire life. It feels so terrible. I can't understand. Please take it easy. There was no way you could have known she was married. Huh. Not to talk of having two children at home. Hmm? Are you hot much? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay, thanks. I'm glad you are fine. Hmm. And I think that you should go for that job interview tomorrow. You need something to do just to keep you busy no matter how small hmm? and I'm not saying that I mean because yeah, I understand I understand you perfectly you know what I think I'm going to give it a shot yes <laughs> I knew you would do it well, I'm not going to get my hopes up. I mean, you know how hard it is get, getting jobs these days, but uh, I'm, yeah, I'm just not up for all that psychological trauma. It's okay. Let's just put all our hopes on God. With God, everything is possible. Thank you. You're welcome. I need feedback. Where are we? Oh, okay, ma'am. The bank has been calling endlessly, and we can't keep them off any longer. <sighs> what do you suggest we do? I suggest we find money and clear the service and 
charges. At least that will give us some time. To How much? Mm, 12 million. 12 million. Okay. So the thing here, ma'am, is our bills just doubled, mostly the electricity bill. Why is that? I thought we cleared those off last month. Well, it is nationwide. Every big company has just had their bills reviewed upward. We are not a big company. We are neck deep in debt with no clients. And we're here talking big. They don't know that, man. They see a gigantic uh, building. They see a big company. And uh, there's also the thing about salaries. What about it? Okay, so here's the thing. 60% of our staff are still waiting for their paycheck for the month. All right. Thank you so much for your time. I would um, think about this and I'll be with you shortly. Kind of excuse me. Okay. That's fine. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How may I help you? Yes, uh, <clears throat> my name is James and I'm here for an interview. I'm sorry, what? I'm here for an interview. I got uh, an invitation for an interview for the post of accountant. <laughs> Excuse me, but did you not read the job description and job requirements? He clearly stays not more than 30 and <laughs> you clearly look times too. Well, um, do I? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I'm 50, just in case you're curious about my age. And uh, I did get an invitation for an interview. Maybe you, sh uh, you should check the mail, if you're in doubt. Okay, I'm sorry. I think there's a mix-up somewhere. I'm very sure um, HR mistook 50 for 30. <laughs> okay. Okay, so why don't we just leave that observation to the HR? <laughs> what, what I'm trying to say is I'm HR, I made a mistake and I'm so sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry again. Not working. Okay. 
Can I take a look at it? Sure, please. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have some tools? It's probably the plugs. Okay, yeah. I have some in the trunk. Okay. Let me get it. Uh, I came for an interview, although I didn't get the job. The receptionist or HR or whatever she calls herself didn't even bother to look at my CV. Do you work here? No, no, I don't work here. I just came to see a mm. friend. Okay. Um, so why didn't they interview you? You seem qualified. <laughs> I think I'm actually overqualified. They're looking for younger people. Mm. That must be heartbreaking. Yeah, well, it's okay. Let's uh, give it a kick. Oh, thank mm. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Let's go. <clears throat> it's still not working. Try to get. Okay, okay, okay. I can see that. Okay, you know what? Just put your foot on the pedal and turn on the ignition, okay? Just put your foot on the pedal. Just put your foot on it, alright? Okay. Alright, go. Jeez. Jesus! Oh, 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 oh my goodness, I'm, I'm so sorry. God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Oh. So, so sorry about that. Mm, 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 mm. Sorry. I said put your foot on the pedal. That's exactly what I did. I put my foot on the pedal. You matched the pedal. There are two different things. Ah. Sorry. Um, are you okay? Do I look okay? Hmm? <laughs> Sorry. Can I get some water or something? Okay. okay. Ah. Just thank God it's working. Ah! Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. Okay, so sorry. Yeah, it's okay. A little more. Sorry, can I have it? Yeah, clean, clean. Mm -hmm. Dry, mm -hmm. dry your hands. <sighs> sorry. Whoa, 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 it's, it's yeah. your dress, it's ruined. It's okay. It's... <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I should be the one saying thank you. Thank you for helping me with my car. <clears throat> Congratulations. I told you, where there is a will, there is always a way. See, I, I still can't just believe my luck. Hmm. I mean, what are the chances of bumping into the owner of the company on an interview just like that? Slim. Very slim. Indeed. And after fixing her car, she asked to see my CV and hired me right there on the spot. Just like that? Just like that. She said that I was just the kind of person she needed. Yeah. You know, uh, someone with experience and that I was also not afraid to get his hands greasy. God. It can only be God. I mean, it can only be God that caused you to come outside from that building at exactly the same time that car spoiled. Mm. I think you're right. God works in mysterious ways indeed. Mm -hmm. I am just 
so excited. I mean, I, I just can't wait to start work. <laughs> to have something to wake up to every morning. I know. Oh, come on, come <laughs> on, come on. Come on. Oh, 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 oh. Bottoms up. Yes, come in. Good morning, sir. Morning. Would you like some coffee? I thought you were the HR. Yes, since the HR left. But I'm also the receptionist and I bring coffee to senior staff. Right. Okay. That, that, that's fine. Um, coffee will be nice. Okay, in a bit, sir. Thank you. Sir, should I leave your door open? Uh, yes, please. I, I have an open door policy. Oh, okay. Yeah, hello? I'll be there right now. Come in. Yeah. See you, sir. James. Well, any problem? Yeah, I have sir. a very important meeting. Uh, well, I was actually hoping to do, share some figures with you. It's really important. Oh, no, 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 no. I can't do this right now. Can we do this tomorrow? This meeting is a top priority. I can't miss it for anything. Ma, we're ready. Okay. I mean, we spoke and you assured me that we would have this contract. What went wrong? I'm sorry, the job has been awarded to another company. Why would you change your mind, sir? If you don't mind me asking, what company did you award this contract to? This is it. If we don't do business now, we can still do business in the future. Okay? Sir, we can do business now. Let's do business now. You care for a drink? Bianca, look at you. She's not going to stop. Snitch. This is how they kill people's dreams in this country. Hello, baby. Hi, baby. Guess what? Inside of me. Sport, brat. <laughs> well, that's why you love me. So, I'll see you later. Wait, wait, wait. I saw Kemi today, and you know she applied for the same contract that I did. But she would keep losing to me because I have the magic touch. Oh, she magician. Okay, bye-bye. I'll be waiting for you. I mean, I might as well just be another staff going in and out. But it doesn't matter how hard I, I, I try, I just can't push over this feeling that something is wrong somewhere and I'm the one, you know, who can do something, you know? Okay, so why not do something? Paul. Just don't get it, that's the point. No matter what I do, I just can't get her to sit down. I mean, she's always on the move, always on calls, always in meetings, whereas the problem is still there. Her finances are still in ruins. As, I, I, I think she has been getting rookies to do her accounting or something. Hmm. And if something is not done quickly, 
all of us might be out of a job anytime soon. Have you tried talking to her? I mean, face to face, like a friend. Oh, she's not my friend. She's my boss. Uncle, we both know she's not just your boss, otherwise we wouldn't be having this conversation. I mean, just try to talk to her face to face, like a friend, and not like boss and staff. I'm sure she would listen to you. Yeah, but... See, that's... I don't know. I don't know. I, I doubt it, really. I mean, what, what if she feels I'm overreaching? Or she doesn't see it that way? I mean, what, 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 what if she... if she feels that the day doesn't break, or the night doesn't fall, or we all don't wake up? Huh? Fine, fine. I'll, I'll talk to her. Okay. And hope she understands and doesn't kick me out. No. <clears throat> Just that. <clears throat> yeah, whatever. I'm trying my best, Mom. Believe me, I'm trying my best. But no matter how hard I try, it's like things keep getting worse. Do you still pray? Maybe prayer is key. I hope you have not forgotten everything I taught you about prayer. I haven't forgotten. And yes, I pray. But things aren't changing. I haven't had one single good client in a while. I'm owing the bank a lot of money. They're threatening to take over my building. I'm owing salaries. I'm losing staff. I'm losing my mind, mommy. I'm, I'm losing everything. Shh, it's all right, baby. I will keep praying for you. I'm sure you'll be all right. You know, if I could get a dime for every time I've heard that word, I'll be very rich right now. Don't, do you want me to come over to your place? I, I could come spend like a week with you. No, Mom, I'm fine. Thank you. I just needed someone to talk to. I know, darling. Listen, you are doing great. Just take it easy on yourself and have a good sleep, okay? Yes, Mom, thank you. I miss you, my darling. Please call me soon, or I will just land in Lagos. <laughs> I love you, Mom, and I miss you. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> Oh. <laughs> it's past ten. What are you still doing here? Wow, I I, I didn't notice the time. <laughs> really? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just needed to finish this. James, I know you work extremely hard to help me and I really want to commend your efforts. Thank you. Well... You think I don't notice? I do. Well, it's my job. You know, I've had several staff come in and go, but I haven't had anyone take this job as personally as you do. You go the extra mile and um, 
I'd like to apologize for the other day. No, it's okay. I understand. No, <laughs> admit it. I was horrible. No, you were not. Look, <clears throat> anyone in your position would have done the same. You actually have a knack for displaying such calm in the middle of all <laughs> kinds of situations. I mean, I I really admire you for that. Mm -hmm. <sighs> to be honest, I don't know how I got here. One minute we were doing so well. And I thought with more financing, we could do more. Until I went to this bank. Or more like they came to me. And I consider myself lucky to have access to that. <sighs> Look at us now. Over a hundred million in debt and not one big client to show for it. Borrowing from the bank has never been the best plan. I mean, it's like the devil's gift. They give you with the right hand and take it back with the left. Tell me about it. I guess I had to learn the hard way. What are you working on? Oh, yeah. Um, <clears throat> right. Uh, here is the balance sheet for the last three years. Okay, so that's uh, right. Okay, so it contains everything you need, uh, debt, standing, asset expenditure, everything you require. So I'll mail that to you in the morning. Mm. And uh, that's not the main thing. Okay. Um, I'm not really sure you'd want to hear this but i have been thinking a lot about our situation and i think i may have a plan it might sound a bit crazy but honestly that's the only thing i see right now as being our saving grace right i'm listening We need to shut down. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You're joking, right? crazy but as far as I can see I mean that's like the only solution look this gigantic building is milking you dry you are paying more bills than you're making look if if we shut down the bank will take the building and leave you alone then you can simply go back to your apartment walk from there pay off your staff then we can what the hell are you talking about even if I was supposed to accept this crazy and ridiculous proposal of yours, how, how am I supposed to pay off my staff? I will go into way more debt than I currently am in. It's not even possible. Even if I was to sell everything I have, it will still not work. And look at me, I am not one to chicken out. You will not be chickening out, okay? You will simply be re-strategizing. Now you might need to change your business name, deal with new staff, but it's called rebranding. My God. Uh, see, I, I I know it's a lot to take in right now, okay? But just take your time. Just think about it. Okay? I mean, it's just a suggestion. Babe, now you they rain now. Indie works is all over the place now. Yes, yeah, so that is the vision and that's the plan. You know, we actually want to be a part of the top five media firms in Nigeria. And I'm glad you're pushing towards that. It's all God. Oh, God. Yes. 
Have you heard from Kemi recently? What is my business with her? Kemi is in deep crisis. Her company is sinking day by day. I learned her building will be taken from her by the bank because she owes them. And so what? Why are you telling me these things? Because she used to be your friend. I used to! We are not friends anymore. And frankly, I would like it if you can stop bringing up her name in my house, please. But... No buts, Angela. Fine. Thank you. Fine. You know what? As a matter of fact, I'll be in my room. Bianca. You can leave my house and close the door as Bianca. you can. Bianca. Because I don't understand. <sighs> Can't you just not do this in the bedroom? You can do it in the bathroom, at the balcony, anywhere else except the bedroom. It, it, what is your problem? It's okay. Just calm down, okay? I'm sorry. I thought you were going to spend some time with your friend in the living room. But I didn't! <sighs> Any problem? It's Angela! You and I both know how much I detest hearing the name Kemi. She came all the way here just to tell me how Kemi's business is collapsing. How is that even my business? Oh, calm down. Maybe she was just scaring. That's all. Calm down. <sighs> See, nobody should mention Kemi's name around me. She shouldn't. Nobody should. Oh, just calm down. As a matter of fact, don't you think it's high time you girls settled? Okay, it's... Just let bygones be bygones. It's been a year already. Damien, yeah. will you shut up? If you don't have anything logical to say, in fact, get out of my room! Say what now? Get out! I want you out! <sighs> now what? It's fine. <clears throat> it's fine. You have it your way, but you're being crazy right now. Back time? No. Look, I know it's crazy. Okay? <laughs> you think you're losing it? You think you lost everything? I have. Thanks to you. See, I know you've heard of this um, big multinational companies who have their branches spread all over the world. And I know that you wish to be like one of them. But see, here's the thing. All of these big companies started from somewhere. Now, some started in their living rooms, some in their backyard, some even in their garage. So I know it's not easy. But look at the brighter side. I mean, you had it all, and then you lost everything. But instead of allowing yourself to go down with your mistakes, you, you stand and, and run. That is life. See, when I lost my job, I thought it was over. When I had an accident and spent all of my pension 
I thought it was over. But it seems life is not done with you or I yet. So the least we can do is try. I really don't know where to start. I mean, where do I begin? What if nobody takes a shot on us? What if we're not able to get a job? How do we survive? I know. I know it's crazy, but um, look at it this way. It's like learning to walk all over again. But guess what? We will walk. And then we'll run. And then we'll fly. And we will do it together. I don't know, with the way you make it sound. You make it sound so easy. I know. I know. But here's my proposal. We will focus on small products and new products coming into the market. Why? Because they're small. Just like us. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously. Small products are blind because they're still trying to break into the market. They're easy to work with and there's little competition. I like that. Thank you. I'm comfortable here. So have a good night in your bedroom. Come on, babe. You know, I was angry. That's why I did what I did. You were angry? You know what? I was beginning to think maybe one day you would just ask me to leave you. Ask me? You would just push me out of your house. It's not possible. I was just angry. <laughs> hey, you know I love you so much. I promise it won't happen again. That's exactly what you said the last time. Come on, baby. Baby, I'm sorry. Tomorrow, I'll send you 200,000 Naira before I head to the office. Are you sure? Now, you have to mind how you talk to me. You have to talk to me with some respect. Do you understand me? Do you want to do the transfer this night or you're assisting tomorrow morning? Yes, tomorrow morning. Okay, I'd like you to do it in the second account. The first one is having a problem. Okay. Come here. Okay, let's go to bed. Yeah. No, I love you too, yeah. I'm not just standing up because of the money, I'm just standing up because I love you. Oh, I love you too. And I was missing you. Whereas in the past we would have gone for big companies, now we'll have to focus on small companies and new products getting into the market. But big products already have a name and a big customer base in the market. Plus they pay better money. You're right. But the small companies are completely blind. They need a guide to navigate their way into the market space. And that's where we come in with our wealth of experience and all the knowledge we have acquired over the years. Plus, they're small and easy to work with, and there's little or no competition. I totally agree. Mm, that's true. 
All right, that brings us to our first client. Royal Bitters. In the past, we would have had the luxury of a fancy photo shoot done in a professional photo space. Now we have to improvise. Mm -hmm. I need us to be as creative as possible. Josh, I need you on this right now. Yes, ma'am. Right. Okay. I need all the angles. Josh, project. Project, I need to see the name of the product. And I need 360. A 360, you know, angle of every side of this product. That's enough. Let me see what you have. Not bad. It's nice. I think we can do better. What do you guys think? I think we need more objects. Like what? You know, like a... Uh, action or story mm, like saying we're not only selling drinks but a dream that's it you know something for the customer to look up to uh, because the customers are going to buy what the drink does and not just the drink yes mm -hmm. like highness cures body pain good in bed you know, things like that. That's it. You've got the point. You See. mean like a fantasy? Exactly. See, oftentimes, customers don't um, buy products just for buying sake. They buy it for what it does. So we'll just be giving them what they want to see. <sighs> Look, I hate to break it to all of you, but the truth is, I don't have a budget for that. I don't have money to hire actors. Well, I have an idea. And we don't have to hire actors. I mean, we have actors in the house. I'm not an actor. Yes, you are, ma. You are the best actor in the world. You were broke for two years and nobody even noticed. <laughs> I think she has a point. <laughs> And you, Susa? Eh? What? No. No, 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 no. I am, no, no, no. I am definitely, definitely not an actor. <laughs> yes, you are. I mean, it takes an amazing amount of courage for anyone to look for a job at 50. Huh? Are you trying to insult me? <laughs> She's right. Brilliant. <laughs> so? You, you, mm -hmm. you got this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Fine. Let's Whatever. do this. <laughs> okay, let's do this. Okay, this is what we're advertising. Hmm, let them see it. See it when. Okay, beautiful Kim. Look into his eyes. Mm -hmm, his eyes look well. Look into my eyes. That kind of, mm -hmm, that kind of thing. Okay, um, Mr. James, please put your hand on our waist. Hmm? Our waist. Like this, shift closer here. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -uh. mm -hmm. Looking good, looking good. Okay, what next? What next? Okay, put some of the drink in his mouth. Uh -huh. Don't forget a uh hair. -huh. Don't forget you're advertising it to small. Mm. Good. You have done this thing before, I told you. Okay, now, kiss him. Hmm? Go on, lean in. Ah, I can't remember any kissing being in the script now. Mm. Sir, you see, this script, I wrote it. Just kiss her, you know, leaning, mm -hmm. leaning like this. Uh -huh. Just leaning, kiss. Like, do it, make it as natural as possible, you know. You know what I'm trying to say now? Let's make this thing sell, you know. Make it as natural as possible. Leaning, leaning, uh -huh. you will leaning. Continue, go on. Do like you want her so bad. <laughs> Good, God. Beautiful, beautiful. See how beautiful you look. Okay, it's okay. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Did you get that? Uh, 
Oh, do, are you sure you got the keys? Are you sure? Or let's go for take two now. He got, he got it. Sir, just one minute. Let me just confirm to Co be sure that he, he got that this angle. Of he the key. got every angle. What? Are you sure? Did you, are you sure you got that angle of the keys? That went really well. Hi, Kemi. It's nice to see you. Uh, what are you doing here? Business. You? Oh. Same fate. Um, I would wish you luck, but you know I don't mean it. Yeah, I know. Let me not keep you waiting. I actually have a meeting with the MD. Cha-cha. <laughs> again where you stay out all night without telling me your whereabouts. And why do I have to tell you my whereabouts? Are you my father or something? I am your boyfriend and I deserve to know. <laughs> you are my boyfriend and you deserve to know. You know you actually overestimate yourself because you are a complete joke. Oh, I am the joke now. Maybe you, you stay out all night because you sleep with different men out there. Do you even know what it means to be a boyfriend? Do you? Because I feed you, I clothe you, I house you, and you have the audacity to ask me silly questions like I'm some girl you picked up from the slums. What else do you even offer me outside of sex? What else? Please tell me. Because those men offer me contracts where I can make money to feed you, pay for this house, and you're asking me stupid questions, you lazy fool. I would not have you insult me, Bianca. Do not try it. Wow. And I won't have you spending my money, eating my food, and staying in my house, and talking to me rudely. You know what? I want you out of this house. What? Yes. In fact, I'll help you pack your things because I want you out oh, now. Look, come, come on, Bianca. We, we can sort this out. I, 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 I was just watching out for you. It's... Okay, stop now. Let's settle this and make it. Be, 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 be. Will you stop it? Please, 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 please I stop. swear to God, if you try to stop me again, I will call the police. Babe, babe, babe come on, come. Both of you used to be friends? Yeah, we're very good friends for 10 years. And then, boom, we became enemies. What happened? Life. Life happened. Mm. Bianca and I used to be. Really good friends. <sighs> we attended the same university, worked in the same media company. Even after NYC, we're still working together. But Bianca, Bianca had always loved money. Her thirst for money and power just got out of control. 
She would go partying with total strangers. She would snatch people's boyfriends. She was causing all kinds of trouble and I didn't want to be associated with that. And so when I decided to start my own media company, I didn't carry Bianca along. Oh, I see. She got very upset and felt betrayed, especially when Kemstar was doing really well. My okay. media company was doing well. She got upset. She said she would never speak to me again. She started causing so much trouble at the office. She would bring all kinds of chaos to me. And next thing I know, she started her own media company. Indie works. <laughs> and that's how you guys became <clears throat> rivals. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. <sighs> yes. Uh, don't you think you need to slow down on that a bit? <laughs> nope. You see, Bianca and I, we used to drink all night and show up early in the morning and wear at our best performance. Okay. So, I'm good. I have no problem. <laughs> all right, so what do we do? I mean, with an opponent so formidable, I mean, I don't even know, even as creative as you are. All she has to do is show up and boom, we're back to square one. Hmm. I have an idea. Okay. Do share. I need to pee. Uh, do you want me to take you? Uh, no, no, no. I'm good. I'm fine. Huh. I look like I need a babysitter. <laughs> <laughs> I'm fine, trust me. I'm okay. I'm just fine. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, whoa, whoa. Just... Okay, I got you. Oh. I got you. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, yeah. Jesus. Are, are you okay? Are you... Are you sure you're okay? Look, you're not fine, okay? Let, let me just... My nice and shiny armor. Uh, right, okay, let me just help you. Mm -hmm. I, I sure you're quite done. Or I don't want you to go in again when... I'm fine, I'm fine. Okay, let's, come on. Let me, let me help you. Hmm? making a presentation to a company that produces pounded maize flour, okay? Now, their maize flour does not stick to the pan, it does not burn, and it is pocket friendly. Now, this is what we're going to be selling, not the flour, all right? So, we need dummy video and still photo, you know, um, ads for the presentation tomorrow. So, come on guys, let's, uh, let's get started. Direct over to you. No problem. Hmm? Actors, that's me. <laughs> no, we are actors. <laughs> okay. Okay, come in. You can hold her waist. 
Mm-hmm. Turn around. Kiss. Mm. Okay. Okay, we are pushing me. We're pretending you're telling me up so the food doesn't go hot. Okay. This is awesome. I love it. Great creativity. Wow. This is exactly what we are looking for. Oh. Thank you, sir. I'm so glad you like it. Yes. But, of course, awesome. You have a wonderful track record of SNL. No one is doubting your ability to deliver. But remember that this is a foreign company that has a lot of interest on this. So I decided to open it up for the highest bidder. Highest bidder? Don't get me wrong, please. Nothing personal, strictly business. For what? Eh? Five million naira, for what? What if after giving them this five million naira, we still lose the deal? What if someone beats higher than us? Is there no more value for creativity in this country? <sighs> so what are you going to do? I don't know. I really don't have five million naira to give as a bribe. It is not a bribe. It's lobbying. Surely you've lobbied before. Okay, look at it this way. Hmm? This is a foreign company. Okay? And whoever wins this bid stands a very good chance of being retained. I mean, we're talking 300 million naira here. <laughs> if you look at the bigger picture, Five million naira is not much of a big deal, really. The problem is I don't have five million naira. Where am I supposed to get five million naira from? I'll lend you some money. What? I know, I know, it, it, it's stupid, but we're talking 300 million naira here. Yeah. I mean, that's what we need to get us out of here. Look, if you miss this deal, you're going to regret it. Trust me. <clears throat> Look. Everything is going to be all right. Okay? Okay. But would you go with me? Having you around will definitely give the presentation a much needed boost. I'll go with you. Thank you. You're welcome. Good, 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 good. Five million naira. Good. So I do have a question. 
Okay, go on. So what if we don't get the deal? I mean, what if another company outbids us? <laughs> well, this is how it works. I told you that there will be a presentation from all the companies that submitted their application. And I think yours is the best so far. So don't worry. Okay. How many entrants? Well, about five entrances. And what are their names? Oh. I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to disclose that. You know what you have to do for me? Mm. You have to make sure that tomorrow by 7 o'clock, you are here. No African time. If you are here, the deal is yours. Yeah. We'll be here. That Somebody would be here. great. Thank you. That would be great. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. So, how come you've never talked about Mrs. James? Mm. What's she like? She's sweet? Yeah, she's, she's sweet, all right. We met in the university and became sweethearts instantly. That's nice. Yeah. After school, we got married, had a beautiful baby girl, and um, and then I got engrossed in work. I loved my work more than anything in the world, you know. She would nag, I would stay out late, you know. You cheated? Mm -mm. I never cheated, not once. Meanwhile, all, all we were doing was fighting and eventually she took my daughter and left me. I mean, I didn't speak to her for years until last year at my daughter's birthday party. Oh, she's now married with two beautiful daughters. Oh. <laughs> wow. Sorry about that. Sorry to bring it up. Mm. And your daughter? Oh, she's a big girl now. We talk all the time. Good. Mm. No. Mm. You. <clears throat> what about you? Tell me, how come some lucky prince has not come to sweep this princess off her feet all this well? I mean, <laughs> you're literally a goddess. Am I? Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> well. I have something to show you. Okay. It's um it's a souvenir from my ex-boyfriend. Jesus, 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 Jesus. 
No, 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 no. James! James! Hmm? James, what? wake up! What? Are you still sleeping? Oh. Oh my god! What is it? What's the thing? Time. What's the thing? Jesus. 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 We've been here for an hour. Oh. So, this is not happening. Can we start preparing to go for the presentation? That's where we are coming from. Someone else got to deal. No, 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 no! I'm sorry. Don't touch me! Don't you ever touch me! Don't come around me. I don't want to ever see you anywhere near me again. <laughs> You've gotten what you wanted. You're happy now, Abby. You are sleeping where you should be walking. Get out of my house, please. Just get out. You are dead sleeping. Where you're supposed to be walking, you are sleeping. I'm taking a lunch break. Oh, please make noodles for me. I told you I'm going to make noodles. Do you know how to cook any other thing? Okay, make noodles for me, Joe. Please. You know what? I'm not hungry anymore. Why? What happened? Have you seen that kitchen? <laughs> okay, so what are we going to do now?
A surprise for you. So, uh, oh. there we are. Voila! <laughs> oh my God, you did it! <laughs> yes, I did it. Uh, what? I've been working on it secretly for a while now, and. I decided to surprise you. No, this is, this is... You like it? I love it. You have no idea how much I love it. <laughs> I mean, this is unique. And the packaging is awesome. Thank you. You know, uh, Uncle, after what happened to you, I decided to start my own business. Now I know it's not much, and uh, I decided to start with the packaging of Kuli Kuli. Now, not many people are into it yet, and I think that's an advantage. You know what? I am solidly behind you. Thank okay, you, whatever you. I can do. I mean, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and you wow. want to know who made this possible? You. Yes. You made this possible. Now I know what you want to hear right now is not a pep talk. But the Uncle James I know will not hide here and cry. He'll go out there and fight for what he wants. What, what can I do? What can I do? Look, I messed up. I always mess up. Everything I touch, I ruin. Lola waited for me. She waited for me for five years to come get her. But I didn't. And now, Kemi. I ruined that too. No. Uncle. Lola is gone. She is no longer here. But someone else is. And that someone else deserves you. She loves you, and you love her. Now, in my opinion, that is a second chance. I do love her. I love her very much. But... I disappointed her. Have a disappointment. I'm going to end up being a lonely man. A lonely, miserable old man. No. You 
you're not going to die a lonely, miserable old man. Neither are you a disappointment either. You are awesome. You are an inspiration. You saved me from drowning once. And now, it's my turn to save you. And together, together, we will save this situation. Trust me. Oh. It's over. No, it's not. I have a plan. Trust me. It's going to work. For how long are we going to continue like this? Till she comes around. How about to call James? Are you serious? Have you forgotten he was the one that put us in this situation in the first place? Ha! Then what are we going to do? I'm running out of ideas. Oga, we walk. That's what we do. We walk. Is that far you told me you're working on this? Is it. Are you done? Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hi. I think you dropped something. Um, no, I didn't. Well, it looks like your size, and it's going to be a really good fit on you. Um, do you work here? <laughs> no, I don't. But I couldn't help but notice how lovely and beautiful you look. And I have been picturing how perfect you'd look in this. Really? Mm -hmm. And you know, they also sell the accessories here. The belt, the shoe, and the purse. <laughs> this has to be the craziest pickup line I have ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Well, you deserve the best pickup line. I'm Paul. Bianca. So, Bianca, if you do not mind, how about we go check out the accessories together? That'd be nice. After you. <laughs> Don't look sure. I'm not sure, obviously, but there's no harm in trying. Let's just try. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, she listens so she comes around. What? Mm. Mom, we would like to talk to you. Do I look like I'm in the mood to talk? It's important. And what if it's not important to me? Then you walk away and we won't disturb you again. No. You get a salary slash. Go on. I'm listening. Okay. Make it snappy. Um, we just want to remind you about your dreams. Like you had really big dreams and amazing ideas about the company. And we just can't sit down and watch all your hard work go to waste because of a setback. For someone that held a bro company together for two years and did amazing at it, I can't believe this is just going to stop you or... That's enough. What about the salary? Never mind. <laughs> no. 
I actually enjoyed that too. <laughs> <laughs> You know, babe, I know it's my dad's birthday next week, right? Oh, really? That's mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. So, um, I was wondering if, you know, you could invite some of your best friends. You know, I've never met any of your best friends, right? So, you invite your friends and I invite my friends and we could make it a fun party for my dad. Um... I don't really do best friends anymore. Why? I mean, everyone has a best friend. Besides, you are too pretty to be lonely. Hmm? Well, I did have a best friend, but she betrayed me, and we've been fighting ever since. Ah, oh, that is so sad. Was, was she special? Yeah, the best, best friend ever. I don't think I'm going to find another friend like her. You know, <clears throat> whatever it is she did, you could always forgive her, right? I mean, you don't forgive them because they deserve it. You forgive them because you love yourself. I don't know what she did to me. You don't know what she calls me. <laughs> okay, uh, did she call you a witch? <laughs> witch would have been better. She betrayed me and she called me a tramp. Oh my, that's, that's bad. You see, there is no way I'm forgiving her. <laughs> yes, Not in you this can. lifetime. And you will. You know what, just go over there tomorrow and forgive her, please, because of me. No. Okay, it's virtually impossible getting you to forgive her, isn't it? <laughs> hmm. She was the one that started it all. It's not like as if it was my fault. I mean, she called me a tramp. She called me so many different things you wouldn't even be able to imagine. What was I supposed to do? Look, babe. Come on. Just... Go over there tomorrow and make peace, please. Make, it would really mean a lot to me. Make peace? Why, why do I have to be the one to go and make peace? Because you are the bigger person. I mean, and because to err is human and to forgive is divine. What? Even if I wanted to, it's been such a long time. I wouldn't even know where to start. So many things have happened between us. You know what? I could come with you tomorrow if you want. I mean, just to support you. Really? Mm-hmm. You'll do that for me? <laughs> you know, I'll do anything to make you happy. You know I'm only doing this because of you all. <laughs> I know. Just go over there and make it right. Huh? <laughs> okay, let's see it. Go and try so, huh? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Ah, I don't mess the table up. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Mm. This is good. Mm. This is good. You can say that again. I told you. The plan will work. You did. You did. You did. So tell me, Paul, what's going on between the two of you? What do you mean? Don't bullshit me, Paul. You've been going around swinging from ear to ear lately. <laughs> hmm? <laughs> this, this one is no longer looking like acting. No? Well, I think I feel something for her. Hmm. I mean, she's an amazing person. And the moment you get to know her, you, you'll see, see her. she has an amazing heart. And it doesn't affect the plan. Mm. The plan is still going on well. Eh, uh, Polo. I hope so. 
Hmm, I hope so. <laughs> Just make sure nothing goes wrong with the plan. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> because if he does, eh, I will kill you. <laughs> Personally, I will kill you. Mm. Well, nothing is going wrong with the plan. I mean, trust me. I own this game. Okay. Mr. Game Owner, what's the next step? Hey. Just, just one minute. Ten seconds. Okay. See, I, I know you really don't want to talk about this, but I'm miserable. I, I think we need Five to talk about... Five seconds. Here's a check. It's for 2.5 million. The money you lost. So this is why you're here? No, you see, what I'm actually... My father used to say you grew up too fast, too smart. She's too smart for her age, he used to say. <laughs> I never believed him though, but now I do. Why, Mom? Is it because I didn't tell you about the company? No, because you didn't tell me you were drowning. And that's probably because you think I can't save you. We have what happened. I mean, what happened to us? We used to be very close to tell me everything. Remember, you told me about your first kiss? Mom, I was proud of you. I mean, I was because you didn't let those fools with money and fine face to kiss you. Well, money and fine face helps. You're not wrong, but. You chose a real gentleman, somebody you loved. A gentleman, a gentleman that cheated on me and beat me. That's not the point, and you know it. I'm not saying he's a saint, but you chose him. So that gives me the right to believe that you haven't let a fool kiss you. Oh, have you let a fool kiss you? Sweet. I don't know, Mom. He's not a fool. He's far from a fool. Okay, now, what is the problem? You don't trust your heart? Or you don't think you're doing the right thing? Look, 
All is fair in love and war. You don't have to do the right thing. All you have to do is go with your heart. Let your heart lead. Okay? And no matter what happens, I want you to know that your mommy is seriously behind you. Okay? Because I love you. I love you so much. I love you too, sweetie. <sighs> So we went home and to her house and um, instead of doing the right thing and going back to my place and having a good night's sleep, I decided to stay back for some drinks. You know, it's uh, been a while since anyone genuinely cared about me. I mean, after my wife left, I found it very difficult to socialize. I mean, everybody kept telling me to remarry, but I just couldn't do it. I mean, I, I, I felt like that would be me being unfaithful to her. But that evening was different. I felt what I had never felt in a long time. I told her about my life. She showed me a scar and before you know what's happening, we started making love. <laughs> in her house. In her house. <laughs> Your boss's house. Yeah. <laughs> I, I know how that Trust me. <laughs> that is insane. Yeah. You can I say tell that you, again. It's insane. The next morning we didn't wake up till 9 a.m. Oh yes. Oh. That is why you didn't go for the presentation. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but that's unbelievable. I know, I know. I, I, I messed up and I disappointed her. See, I didn't come here today to ask you to change your mind. I only came here to ask you to please help a brother out. See, I love that woman very much. In fact, I cannot even bear the thought of living without her. As a matter of fact, I, I, I believe she's my second chance. There is nothing I could actually do about this. The companies that showed up have been given the contract. And I know if you have been there, the contract would have been awarded to you. I'm sorry. I can't do anything about this. Bianca, I can see you're doing well for yourself. <laughs> yes, I am. And uh -huh. let me introduce you to my boyfriend, Paul. Wow, he is so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. It's it's nice to meet you. Same here, sweetheart. Okay, um, Kimmy and I are stepping out. Uh, both of you should come with us. Um, we would love to, but we were already headed for a date ourselves. Uh -huh. We just came by to check in on Kimmy. Okay, that is so sweet. Anyway, let me not waste your time. I'll get Kemi for you. But make sure you'll be here later in the day because I'm preparing something really nice. Don't miss it. I can't wait. You know, my appetite is what's already. I know. I'll make sure you come with Mr. Handsome. Okay? You know I So make yourself comfortable. Let me get Kemi for What the hell are you doing in my house? 
کمی آی 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 یو وات ایم سوری ایم سوری اباؤٹ ایوری تھنگ پلیز اف یو کین جسٹ فرگیو می آؤٹ ڈو اینی تھنگ یو سی فار ایس ٹو بی فرینڈز اگین دیٹ از سو لو ہیک دیٹ از سو لو I know. I knew you'd say that. But let's face it, Kev, I'm tired of fighting. And I know you're tired of fighting too. So let's just cut the crap. Exactly, why don't you just cut the crap? What exactly are you doing here? Like, what stupid game are you playing? Who put you up to this? It's, it's not a trick. It's not a game. Uh, I'm Paul. Bianca has told me a lot about you. Oh, did she tell you all the pain she caused me? Did she tell you all the things I've been through because of her? Did she tell you all that I've lost because of her? Yes, she did. She told me everything. But she also told me you are the best friend anyone can ever pray for. That you are a pure soul. She told me that you were her partner in crime, her everything, and you are irreplaceable. She told me that she made a mistake and she's here to say sorry. Please. I'm, I'm sorry, KK. Call me KK. After all these years, You walk in here with him and call me KK. Really? You're my best friend. And all of these years of us fighting have been the most miserable years of my life. It's true. Just tell me whatever you want me to do and I will do it. I'm tired of fighting. Look, I made a mistake and I'm sorry. I'm tired of fighting. I miss us. Please, KK. Let me use this opportunity to introduce you to Paul. He's my sweet. Hi. Hi, Paul. Hi. Let me just warn you, you better be the best sweetheart. If not, I'll kill you myself. <laughs> You're welcome. Welcome Thank to you. my home. Have a seat. Have a seat. Has mommy offered you anything? You mean both of you have been fighting all these years and you didn't even tell me? What? I didn't want to be the one going about reporting like I'm a baby and telling everybody what's going on. Oh, really? But well, look at where it has gotten both of you. Honestly, the two of you have me to answer to. I'm serious. I have a lot to answer to. Hello, Mr. Peter. Good afternoon. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. How are you? What? We got the contract. <laughs> yes, sir. Sure, okay, sir. I'll be there first thing tomorrow morning. I won't miss it for anything. Thank you, sir. Remember the contract, the one we lost, okay. the one worth 300 million naira. We just got it! Oh, <laughs> we got it! 
Yes. <laughs> oh! And the best part is they're going to retain me, my company, for three years. Oh three my goodness. Oh yes. They said after reviewing everybody's application, they were just blown away by our presentation. Oh, it's 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 yes, it is. Oh, sweetheart. Mama, I made it. Yes, you did. It's amazing. Oh, what people you have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Where are you going? I have to call James. <laughs> okay, fine. You So let let me get this straight. You told her it was your father's birthday. Why didn't you just tell her it was your birthday? <laughs> well, I didn't have a better excuse. Besides, my dad has passed, so even if we cancel the party, there'll be no big deal. Ah. Uh, okay. Okay. So what do you think will happen when she finds out that this is all just a play? Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, it's not just a play, is it? I mean, well, I just hope she understands. She will. Trust me. Mm. Oops, excuse me. Can we call him? <gasps> nice. Hello. Hi, James. <laughs> we got it. We got the contract. We what? got it. Wait, 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 what, what, what do you mean we got, but we lost the contract? No, you won't believe what happened. Mr. Peter just called me now and he said we got the contract. Oh my God, this is unbelievable. Wow, that's wonderful. Yes, I know, it's unbelievable. <laughs> my God. Wow, I mean, <laughs> I'm just so glad that... Uh, Mr. Peter finally decided to do the right thing. What do you mean? Well, let's just imagine that maybe somebody might have spoken to him and he listened. My goodness. James, that was you. That someone was you, right? How did you do it? What did you tell him? Look, it's nothing. It's nothing. I am just... I'm just happy that you're happy. Okay, look, look, this calls for a celebration. You need to call Benita and Josh. I know, I will. I'll call them right away. You and I have a lot to talk about, James. I know. So, in other news, Bianca and I made peace. What? Yes. So, I was going out with my mom. My mom came over to cheer me up. And on our way out, boom. Guess who was in front of my house? Bianca. And she shows up with this really handsome guy. And we made peace. Now, we're planning to have dinner this evening. So, I'm excited. <laughs> wow, that's unbelievable. I know, I know, I know. It's almost like a dream come true. <sighs> I have to pinch myself sometimes. Well, it's not a dream, dear. It's real. James, um, I really wanted to apologize for everything. I shouldn't have blamed you. It really wasn't your fault. I was angry and upset. And, and if you would give me a second chance, I would love to make it up to you. Well, it was my fault too. I'm just happy at the way things are turning out. Okay? So, <clears throat> I'll be coming over for dinner. I mean, if staff are allowed. That is. Sure, it's strictly for staff. Beautiful. Then I'll be coming with wine. <laughs> Great. So, I'll see you for 6 p.m. Do not be late. Yes, ma'am. See you. See you. Yes!
You're late. <laughs> okay then. See you in five. All right. She needs to be here in five minutes. <laughs> You look amazing. You look amazing. Thank you. And you look great. <laughs> so. All right. Beautiful people. We are not <sighs> going to hear the wedding bell. Yeah. What do you say? <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, sweetheart, um, I heard you and Kevin are going to be working together. Yes, mom. We decided to form an alliance, but we'll still have the company's name be Works. Yeah. Wow. That is so good. This is so beautiful. Oh. <laughs> you know what I heard? Both of them were fighting. I said, no, this is rubbish. The left eye can fight the right eye. These are the most fantastic women I've ever met. I agree. They're young, intelligent, smart, strong, and resourceful. So you can imagine what they can achieve if they join forces together as a team. Yes, mom. <laughs> and you guys have made me proud tonight. So I'm Thank proud of you. both of you. Thank you. Oh, we should make it toast. We should make it toast. Hey, oh, come on. People join us, join us. Let's make it toast. Um, to family, friendship, friendship, friendship. Love, love, and money. And money! money. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, guys, so let's take a picture. I don't know how you could do these things. This okay, thing. guys, um, let's okay. gather around for a selfie. Okay. Yes. So oh, hold on. Yes. Okay. Your man, I'll be Let's your do baby. this. Everybody say cheese. 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 cheese! cheese! You got everything I you got everything. Hi, baby. Hi, sweetheart. I'm home now. Oh, thank God. I just got out of the shower, but... Thank you for coming to dinner with me. It's nothing really. I had fun at the dinner. Oh, thank God you had fun. Babe? Yes? I think something is smelling. <laughs> really? Yes, and I think it's coming from your end. <laughs> You're crazy. <laughs> That's why you love me. All right, um, I'll go shower now. Okay, I love you. I love you too. Bye. Come in. Hey. Hey. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, I'm yeah. just looking at these pictures from dinner. Oh, okay. Wow. <laughs> you look so happy there. I know. I'm going to cherish this moment for the rest of my life. And it's all because of you. Uh, okay. <laughs> you know, I don't know what would have happened to me if you didn't come into my life. Uh, I would have lost my business. I would have lost this building. I would have lost everything. I'll probably be miserable right now. If you hadn't come into my life, I guess what I'm really trying to say is thank you. Thank you for coming into my life. I'm grateful for you. <laughs> See, I actually just came here to take you out to lunch. Where are you going? <laughs> oh, wherever you wish, boss. No, no, no. You have to stop with this boss thing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let me get my bag and we. Oh.
Baby 